the guy next to me doesn't need any introduction in the state of New Jersey, much less the hockey world over. Marty Brodeur, your team is going to play here in an outdoor game in front of 80,000 fans. What does that mean to your players? I think it means a lot. You know, I think it's a it's a quite of an event that the NHL is putting together year after year, uh, and for us to be part of it, uh, I know we've our fans had the privilege to, to do it at Yankee Stadium, but this is different. This is a lot bigger, uh, and it's a football stadium. So uh, I know the guys are really excited. Uh, you know, they, they they came in this year knowing that, hey, in February we're going to be playing outdoors. They you want know, to feel like kids again. There are a lot of people that strongly argue, and it's tough to dispute that you're the greatest goalie of all time you think back on all the memories that you had all these amazing moments and in the press conference you were talking about your memories of playing in one of these games the fact that it stands out among all the hundreds of games you played says a lot what stands out the most well you know everybody asks about the game but the game is is, is our business is what we do I think it's everything surrounded the event uh, that's great for the players I think that the day before the practice day the family day on the ice this is what you remember the most because, you know, uh, you go out. It's it's a surreal moment. You know, you have time to take in the the scenery. You know, the you know the, the bleachers and, and the lights and everything is so grand compared to a hockey building. And so when the game starts, usually you forget about this thing and try to stop a puck. Or Your or make team a play. <laughs> is very good at making plays, stopping pucks. I think of Jack Hughes and Nico Heischer and this new Devils team that has created such high expectations. We're a couple of weeks into the season. From what you've seen so far, how do you feel about your team? We feel good. You know, we see a big maturity uh, with, with our young players. Uh, we added a lot of great veterans uh, along the way in the last two seasons, and it's paying dividend to, to see how our young guys all focus, how mature they are about our game. Uh, we're not where we're, we want to be right now. I mean, we've, our record is good. We'd love to be better, like, like any teams that deal has the same thing. But our expectations are high this season. You know, I think we, we've, we've uh, took a great step last season, uh, you know, get the taste of the playoffs. We are able to, to win one round, and, uh, and, and we saw how hard it is, you know. And, and there was two more rounds, and we lost in the second. There was two more rounds for these guys. So I think all of our young players, I think, now understand what it's going to take to, to, to move forward in the next few years here to try to get the ultimate goal, and, and that's uh, winning Stanley Cup. Not only did you win a round, but you beat the vaunted New York Rangers in a seven-game series. How much did that help your team's growth and development in terms of maturity? Well, I think it helped tremendously. I think, you know, uh, the luster of, of the rivalry kind of, is getting lost a little bit when you don't have success as an organization. And uh, I think the success that we had last year, uh, the chance that we had to face the New York Rangers and, 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 and see their fans in our building, I think it, uh, it kind of pissed the little guys off in our team, <laughs> in our locker room. And I think it was a good thing for, for us to, to, to face them. And obviously the success of beating them in game seven at home was, was huge. Thanks, Marty. Good luck to you and your team. I appreciate it. Thanks.